It's a window onto the presidency, I think, unlike we're ever going to have again. Government cover-ups, abuses of power, secret military invasions, all exposed by the crackling, splintered recordings of secret devices installed in the White House as early as 1940. And the transcripts are at UVA. We're trying to tell the story of these presidencies through the president's own eyes and through the president's words because we have a seat right at the table with LBJ in the Oval Office. Mark Silverstone heads the Presidential Recordings Program at UVA's Miller Center for Public Affairs. Along with his team of bipartisan Miller Center scholars, Silverstone has spent countless hours digitizing, transcribing, and analyzing White House recordings to create a one-stop shop for everything White House tapes. It's really hard to make out. Um, even for people who are familiar with the history, sometimes who is speaking on the tape and what they're talking about. With the transcripts and analysis of Silverstone and his team, listeners can grasp what really went on in the White House. President Roosevelt first started privately recording conversations in the Oval Office. He was often meeting with reporters and they would quote him out of context and he wanted to have the real record. So they hid a tape recorder in the White House and they turned it on when the reporters came in the room to make sure that reporters didn't misreport what he had said. Lucky for us, the sick irony is that once the tape stopped rolling, it was to prevent the reporters from getting at the truth. As far as we know, presidents turned off the tape machine in the summer of 1973. Without the Nixon tapes, we would never have known beyond a shadow of a doubt exactly what Nixon's involvement and the Watergate cover-up was. Ken Hughes is a research specialist at the Miller Center and has written extensively on a Nixon administration. He says that audio like the smoking gun tape that incriminated Nixon can still reveal potential abuses of power today. It's important for us to be able to gather around shared facts and have a, a shared recognition of what the truth is. Right now, the Miller Center is getting ready to release a volume of transcripts from the entire Lyndon Johnson presidency, a project that Silverstone hopes will help us see the president as he really was behind the scenes. We have a better understanding of these people as human beings. Uh, we uh, know more about what made Lyndon Johnson tick or what made Richard Nixon tick. Uh, we have discovered new facets of our history that we didn't know about before. In Charlottesville, for WUVA News, I'm Kara Peters.